Hi peeps, fake French toast. This will change your life. Quite frankly, it will. This is one of the best breakfasts I've ever come up with. In fact, I have to give Greg Doucette, oh, I hate to do it, but most of the benefit or most of the um, congratulations for this recipe. So fake French toast, low calorie, high protein, high taste. Okay, you don't lose anything on taste. So I wanna go through in the video, show you what it should look like. Uh, how to go about cooking it, it's very simple, only four ingredients. Um, what ingredients you need, the macro breakdown, calorie breakdown, all of that for you, and what you can expect in the taste, because it is amazing, okay? So basically though, the two main ingredients from the get-go are bread, I use four slices, I use a wholemeal bread, it's the last one I can find in calories, it's also wholemeal, it's Eliza's, uh, Maybe it's a good quality bread, it's not bad. Um, 132 calories for two slices and probably the key ingredient, which is even different to Greg Doucette's original version, is this stuff which you can get from Coles Woolies. I get it from Woolies. This is Queen's brand. It's the only one I can get access to. Sugar-free maple flavored syrup and it's a blueberry flavor. Uh, you can also get a new cinnamon flavor. I'm not a huge fan of cinnamon, but if you like it, go for it and you can get straight maple syrup. So you've got three different flavors you can try. And we've got two other ingredients, which I'll show you shortly. Then later in the video, I'll give you the macro breakdown and the calories, the total calories. You won't believe the total calories, by the way. It's incredible. Enjoy the video, sit back and get ready to have your life changed. Uh, Liza's wholemeal bread, again, any bread you like lowest calories you can get away with. White bread's fine. I just want a bit more fiber. I want a wholemeal bread, better quality bread. The maple syrup or the fake maple syrup, hence fake French toast. Chobani 0.5% fat yogurt is, for what we can get in Australia, what we can get locally, that is the best. Don't do anything else. Don't choose any pot settle, nothing. That is the best one, all right? Give it a try. Now for the egg white, uh, I use pure egg because it's just more convenient. You can use, you can separate the yolk and the egg and do it yourself from an, um, from an egg. It just takes longer. So those four main ingredients are all that's required. The last kind of tool I use are the scales because you need to weigh the stuff out. Uh, it's important. I use 250 mils of that for four slices of Eliza's. That fits into my frying pan perfectly. I've got a 28 centimeter frying pan. It's a Tefl non-stick, I don't need any oils. I typically use between 70 and 80 uh, um, mils of maple syrup. I'm not terribly fussed about it because a couple of calories either way, doesn't matter. And Chobani is always around about 50 grams of that and that works about perfectly for four slices of bread. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like as you start cooking it. Okay, so for the first thing, the most important thing is to get your bread. I use four slices of bread. That's whole meal, Eliza's. Weigh that up. I shall zero that, then put it on. So four slices for me is 127, I think that was. Just double check. 121. Okay, and that will always be different, so I'm a bit pedantic about that. Sometimes you could put, just put the number of slices into my fitness pal, but I wait. Then what I would do, we've got to get the egg white onto it. So one of the quickest ways is to get just egg white, we'll use eggs, pour 250 mils into the bowl, and then just dip and dab each side until it's soaked. You can use tongs to do that and put it into a bowl, and put it into another, and put it straight into the frying pan if you want to. What I do is a bit more high tech, I put high tech, <laughs> a bit more, I don't know, a bit more preparatory. Preparatory? I put it in a plastic bag and soak it overnight. Voila, something I prepared earlier. So this is one I did last night. Um, what I do is I pour in 250 mils, I mix it up really well, blow up most of the air and sort of compress it in there. Sometimes I put a lid on and compress it down even further. You can reuse the plastic bag if you want, sometimes do that. And that just lets the egg whites soak all night. That probably gives the best effect. Using the bowl on the day, doesn't matter. It's still pretty damn good. 
Either way, your choice. If you want to prepare ahead, I would go ahead with this one though. You can just get up in the morning, throw up the frying pan, done. Okay, so what I've got, I've cooked one side. This is uncooked, obviously. What I'm gonna try and do is flip the whole thing. I'll we'll do a check. Check, perfect. Right, now I'm gonna do it, try and flip the whole lot. Bit of a trick. Look at that, that's genius. That is genius level. That's what you want to aim to be at BYFC Cook Kitchen. Spatula in hand. That's what you want on each side. I've soaked those overnight. That's the best way to do it. All the egg white soaks right into it. That's about four to five minutes per side. If it's smoking, you've been in there too long. Because smoking is bad for your health. And it's also bad for your French toast. Cooked on both sides to about this level. Again, about five minutes per side. Easy. Easy to pull out. I separate them all, bring them out onto the plate. Then I'm going to zero up the scales. There's some apple syrup. And I'm going to give uh, kind of like that on each one. Then there's method to the madness. Stick with me. So I want a little bit on each. Because you've got to have the right technique. I've done 37 odd grams. Now the stack time. Time to stack. Okay, the stack. As ad hoc and as impromptu and unpredictable as possible. Great stack. Now I'm going to finish off. Just center it up a bit because goodness knows that's important. So I like about 75 mils overall. 66. Remember, this is low calorie maple flavored syrup. It <laughs> uses as much as you as you want. Okay, 89. So much for that. Now, that's a difference, probably about five calories. And then I have personally about, and of course, you don't need to have it. I just find it goes really well as a flavor. I have about 50. Of yogurt, which I can pretend is cream, and a little bit more 51. And that is my stack. That is my French toast stack. Okay, and the penguin is showing its disapproval, but that is delicious and that's how you cook it okay any questions far away